It's about to be action packed, so sit back and enjoy your snacks while we keep it real. Oh, hell yeah! All right, y'all. So, this video is strawberry shortcake. Easy homemade strawberry shortcake. So, I have powdered sugar. I have some cream of tartar. I have a heavy cream. Heavy whipping cream, which I'm gonna pour. You supposed to, it depends on how much whipped cream you wanna make, but this is like a cup and a half. And you have to make sure your bowl is chilled and your cake beaters are chilled so you can get stiff peaks. We're gonna do about, you're really supposed to do like a fourth teaspoon, but because I don't have a lot of heavy cream, I'm gonna do a little bit less than that. And then I'm gonna do um, maybe like three fourths cup of powdered sugar until we get stiff peaks so put a little that in there and let's get a cup so we can do this powder sugar Now, I tried to do Angel's food cake the day before this video, and it did not turn out right because you have to monitor that shit like you're monitoring a child. So this is the powdered sugar right here going in. And then, I went to the store to get pound cake because that's really my number one choice. They didn't have pound cake. They didn't have sponge cake. So I ended up doing a yellow cake, which is y'all. I don't know if y'all can see. I'm gonna have to move the camera to show you. Hopefully I can put it back where it was. But this is my yellow cake. Just follow the box instructions basically for that. And we're gonna try to get some stiff peaks, guys. Stiff peaks. Like I said, you just need a chilled bowl, chill your beaters, get you some, if you want to make a lot of whipped cream, do like three cups, uh, do two to three cups of the heavy whipping cream, do a cup to a cup and a half of powdered sugar, and about three, uh, no, I'm sorry, about a fourth or less of cream of tartar, and cream of tartar is just a thickening agent, so this is how we're going to end up getting still peaked. I'm starting to get creamy on the wrist. My wrist did though. Let me see. Almost stiff. It's stiff, definitely. All right, y'all give me one second.
right so i had already cut my strawberries up so we're just gonna take some cake and different items and we're gonna layer it and make us some strawberry shortcake for me to layer give me just a second So, I probably got whipped cream all over this cream. Just kind of throw it on there. I should have. Uh... God, don't you start. You be trying to eat everything, bro. Strawberries. Cut some strawberries up. Sorry about this lighting, y'all. I gotta get my light fit in the, fixed in the kitchen. I wasn't trying to use this. I really wanted pound cake, guys. Because this is a little too, I guess I could say, bready maybe. I'm just trying to cover it with cake and then I'm going to put another layer on the top. But you can do this how you want. don't want to bake the cake like I said before like you could buy these use these the whipped cream is your friend guys like as long as that's good and nice you ain't got to worry about the rest let me get a spoon My dishwasher going in the background, so if y'all hear humming, I'm sorry. So these little ones, I'm gonna put these back in the refrigerator so they can cool. And then, because I'm ignorant and I like strawberry shortcake, I'm gonna throw some more on here. Throw some more. Throw some more. Yes, throw some more guys. Bop. And you could do as much or as little as you like. Now, some people like the strawberries with the syrup, like kind of syrupy, like for the strawberry shortcake. I don't. I prefer just the fresh fruit and fresh cream and the cake or whatever. 
So with that being said, if you want that, you can buy a can of like strawberry with the preserve, like with the little strawberry syrup or whatever. It's like strawberries in syrup. That's what it's called. You can get that and mix it with your strawberry. So when you mix it, you got fresh and you got the other kind. So yeah. Strawberry shortcakes. Cause we the best. Trying to find some pretty pieces. Y'all. But anyway, for the most part. Easy strawberry shortcake for that ass. So yeah, for the most part, the most important part. Ooh, that's good, y'all. For the most important part, your whipped cream, if you're going to do it from scratch. I still did it the easy way. You get your, your whipping cream, your powdered sugar, your cream of tartar, and you whip it until you get, till it gets stiff enough to actually be like whipped cream. And it's going to be good, y'all. You can always taste it while you mix it to see if you want to add more sugar. But don't add too much cream of tartar because it'll make it too stiff. That's just like you just need a little, a fourth of a teaspoon or less. And then I'm going to refrigerate all this. And that's it, y'all. Um, oh. I guess these are more pretty. Those probably are prettier, huh? So we're going to do them for the thumbnail, I guess. But thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all make sure y'all thumbs up. Uh, I'm going to bring y'all a banana pudding video soon. I know I ain't forget about that. And I guess we'll try to do like maybe an easy pie or something at some point. But um, thank y'all so much for supporting your girl. Leave a like. Suggestions. Um, I think I'm going to get to the point where I may try other people's recipes off their channel and see if we can make it the same or better or whatever. We'll go from there. And um, I'm going to try to do a cheesecake. I've never done a cheesecake before. We'll do that at some point. But thank you again so much. Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. Peace. You've already watched, so you might as well subscribe. Please.